Tennessee kicked off to begin the football game. Washington State moving with the football for three first downs and having the ball down first. Third down and five yards to go at the 26th. The pitch this time to Mays. He moves through the right side of the line for a first down, and it's got to be first and 10 at the Tennessee 19. 17 Rippon, the quarterback. This is Calvin, who's starting for the injured Porter, last year's leading rusher for Washington State, out of this game with an injury. Picked up about six yards on the play. Second and four. Nothing and nothing. Game just getting underway. What Washington State is moving. That was Walsh stopped by Kofer, the strong safety. It will be third down and three at the 12 yard line. The pass. Touchdown. It was caught there by James. And so Washington State jumps on top. The extra point by Trout is up, and it is good. The touchdown pass was thrown from Rippon to James, and Washington State, before a crowd in excess of 93,000, out on top of Tennessee, 7 to nothing. Trout, who last year was 25 of 25 on extra points, will be kicking off. Deep for Tennessee will be sophomore Wesley Pryor. State shifting. They overload with seven men to the left, three on the right side of the placement kicker. And he goes toward the strong side. This is Pryor. Pryor gets it back up for a return of 21 yards, knocked down by Collins. So Tennessee will open with Tony Robinson, a junior from Tallahassee, Florida, quarterback. His first start. Robinson. Complete. Tim McGee makes the reception. And it will be second down and two. Robinson with a second look. His first pass complete to Tim McGee. And the Volunteers will have it second down and two. Trailing seven to nothing. At center, Raleigh McKenzie. Mayo and Upton, the guards. Robinson complete that's McGee again he dies very very close for the first down knocked down by Waters it's first down 10 to go for Tennessee trailing seven to nothing Robinson a check off at the line it's complete Bill Eichholz, a second look. Robinson in the pocket. Eichholz with a diving reception. 12 yards, first down. Tennessee trailing 7 to nothing. first quarter. 30, Cooper the fullback, Johnny Jones at tailback. Jones, still running. Johnny Jones. All the way down to the Washington State 34-yard line. A second look. There you see the blocking up front. Mayo and Cooper. And Cooper knocks another one out. Downfield a block by McGee. And Johnny Jones goes for 23 yards in a first down. First and 10 at the 34. Robinson. Clink scales. Clink Scales ridden out of bounds, seems to be shaken up a second look. Fine reception by Clink, uh, Clink Scales, turns on the speed, breaks a tackle, pounded out of bounds, injured on the play and leaves the lineup. A third look. Clink Scales, 14 yards, first down and 10. Robinson. Jones, 20, 15, fumbles the football. I think he was down. He got to the 10-yard line. Washington State recovers the fumble. One official has indicated Washington State has possession. A second look. Johnny Jones cutting back against the grain, knocked down, loses the ball, but it will be ruled that he was down 
before he fumbled it. And so Tennessee will have it. Trailing seven to nothing. The volunteers with the ball. That's Swanson in motion. Jones, 10, 5, touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee trails 7 to 6. Johnny Jones. A second look. You see Mayo pulling. The block by Mayo on 96. Jones cuts back and wheezes his way into the end zone from the sideline. Johnny Jones cutting back, scampers into the end zone, and Tennessee trails 7 to 6. Farmer will snap. Sells will hold as. Buad Reves will be attempting a tying extra point. To the end where you can watch it, it's up, and it is good. So, Tennessee and Washington State are tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Reves will be kicking off first quarter of the football game at Thielen Stadium. There's the whistle. Here comes Reves to kick off from the volunteer 40-yard line. This is James Deep. At the 4, 10, 15. Down he goes at the 18-yard line. Kelly Ziegler makes the tackle for the Volunteers. Washington State, first down, 7-7 seven to seven the score. The ball's at the five-man front. Rippon. That's Mays up the middle. Got a couple, maybe three. It will be second down, 7. Running backs Calvin and Mays, quarterback Rippon. In motion, that's Marshall. Tennessee stacks up, this time Calvin. Gain of about three yards, it'll be third down and four. Tolls was there, a second look at the defensive play by Alvin Tolls, 71 is Miller, the middle guard. 64, Steve Douglas. The other tackle in the down line of three defenders, Robbie Scott. Rippon, third down to throw, pass incomplete. It was intended for Burris, and so on fourth down into the game to punt will be Harper. The punt is away. It bounces, and backing away is the receiver, Benton. And Washington State will down the ball as Tennessee goes on offense. First down and 10 to go at the 34-yard line. Tony Robinson at quarterback. Three wide outs for the Volunteers. Running back split. B.B. Cooper. And Cooper rambles forward for a pickup on the play of close to five yards. A second look at the run by the senior from Huntsville, Alabama, Kenneth B.B. Cooper. On the play, penalty marker down, and it was offsides against State. So it's first down five for the Volunteers, taking the penalty instead of the gain. Robinson's pass, low, incomplete. Intended again for Eichholz. Seven to seven the score. First quarter of the game. The give this time is to Johnny Jones on a second down try. Picks up four yards. Third and one. And Tennessee comes with that power eye. Howard and Cooper up close. The standing tailback is Jones, and Jones knives to the left side. I don't know. It'll be close. Fine defensive surge by Washington State. And it is first down, 10 to go for the Volunteers. 7-7 seven to seven the score. Now you see Washington State into a four-man line against the balls. A delay to Jones. The right side, not much there this time. Fine defensive pursuit by the middle guard, Burke. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Tennessee shifts from the split back to the I formation with an audible. Robinson will keep the ball. 35-30, knocked down as he moves on the run, close to the 26. Gain on the play of close to eight yards. It'll be third down, about a yard to go. A second look at Robinson. 6-4 quarterback from Tallahassee. And it's third and a yard for Tennessee at the 47-yard line. Jones spinning, fighting for fumble. Recovered Washington State at the 39-yard line. 
Fumble by Tennessee, recovered by Brown. Turnover number one, a second look as Jones got the first down, but struggling for extra yardage. I think Blakeney is the linebacker who got his hat on the ball. Knocked it free, and Washington State has the ball. Rippon to throw. Screen, left side, Tennessee battling out there is Jones. And coming up to help on the right side is Brown. Second down, Washington State. Score tied 7-7, first quarter. Rippon, the pitch. Mays, Tennessee covers it well. Look at the pursuit. 44 is Tolles. 31, that's Duncan. 45, Xander. Second look. Tennessee stringing it out. Now he cuts up, and there you see the Volunteers. Really not overrunning the play. Well played defensively. Third down, Washington State. Eight yards to go. In motion, that's Burris. Rippon looking for Burris. The pass across the middle, batted down. That's Carl Zander, 45. Incomplete, fourth down. Charles Benton will drift deep for Tennessee, standing back at about his own 10-yard line, as Harper will punt. Fine putter, gets it away, high spiral. This is Benton under the ball at the 10. Fumble, recovered, Washington State. The fumble... And it's Brown recovering. The fumble just bouncing away from Benton. Through the left side of the line, carrying the ball. That's Calvin for a gain of three. Tennessee digging in defensively, nearing the end of the first quarter. Rippon, option keeps, stacked up, short of the five-yard line as the first quarter comes to a close with a score, Tennessee 7, Washington State 7. That's one example of how good things happen when talented students are challenged by a teacher who's the best there is. Here's another. In UT's College of Liberal Arts, students who qualify as college scholars work closely with faculty tutors who are leaders in their fields. A typical college scholar is Colton Smith, who's going directly from UT Knoxville bachelor's program in microbiology to PhD study at Harvard. College scholars, another reason Tennessee is a place where you can shape your future. The score is tied seven to seven now, as you see in the second quarter getting underway. Washington State moving toward the north end zone. Third down, five to go for the first down, six to go for the touchdown. Rip and pass is incomplete. Tennessee defending well, stride for stride. That was Tommy Sims. So fourth down comes up, and it will be John Trout into the football game. Blunt will hold a field goal attempt. 23 yards. You can watch it from the end zone. It is up, angling perfectly through the uprights. And Washington State jumps back on top of the Volunteers by a score of 10 to 7. Tennessee returns the kickoff to the 20-yard line, actually a touchback, and so we pick up the action as the pitch will come to Johnny Jones. Bursting through the right side of the line and battling forward for a gain of three yards. Second and seven at the 23. Cooper the fullback. Jones the tailback. Number 10, Robinson the quarterback. Stumbles, looks, throws the football, complete on a diving grab. Who was that? Eichholz, number 85. Gain of four yards on the play. A second look. What an arm by, what a grab by Eichholz, the senior from Farragut High School in Knoxville. Third down three. Robinson. Complete. Great effort by McGee, and that will be enough for the first down and 10 to go. The Volunteers at the 33-yard line, trailing by a score of 10 to 7. You see the linebackers dancing. You see Robinson in trouble. And Robinson has swarmed and dropped at the 30-yard line. Excellent defensive deployment that time by Washington State, a very fine defensive football team. They won five straight games to conclude the 83 season, including a victory over Washington, knocking the Huskies out of the Rose Bowl for the second straight year. Robinson. Complete. Beautiful pattern to Eichholz again. 14 yards on the game. A second look. Bill Eichholz. 
A walk on to Tennessee, 159 pounds. Tennessee's got a first down 10 at the 44-yard line. Trailing 10 to 7, second quarter of the football game. Robinson gives. Johnny Jones doesn't have much this time. Hodge finds strong tackle defensively, stopping him after a gain of a yard. Second and nine. Power fumble. It will be Washington State recovering. The pitch was hastily made by Robinson as, just as we mentioned, there you see the pitch behind Jones. He tried to pirouette and grab it. It bounded away from him, and Washington State has another turnover. There you see the bounding ball, and it's recovered. That's Howard, and Washington State has the ball now at the Tennessee 32-yard line. First game of the season. Rippon's pass, incomplete, and a penalty marker is down. Burris, the intended receiver. Pass interference is the call against the Volunteers. It's a first down at the 20-yard line. Washington State threatening again. That's Marshall in motion. Carrying the ball this time was Walsh. Got a yard. Xander makes the stop. Tennessee's defense really being tested here in the first half. Washington State enjoying excellent field position. Burris in motion. Rippon to pass. Pumps, throws, deflected. 44, Alvin Tolles. A linebacker dropping back, a second look. Tolles left hands the ball down to the super turf of Shields Watkins Field. Third down. Rippon. Incomplete. Intended for John Marshall, 16 is Sims, 42 strong safety, Joe Cooper, 51 Reggie McKenzie. So here's Trout to try another field goal. It is up from 36 yards. It is good. Washington State leads Tennessee by a score of 13 to 7. But the volunteer fans might be really breathing a sigh of relief. It could very well have been 21 to 7 as Washington State has had the ball in excellent field position twice, recovering a fumble at the 11. This one at the 32, they end up with two field goals. Trout will be kicking off. Deep for Tennessee will be Wesley Pryor. Here's the kick. Pryor at the 5, 10. Looks for a wall, 15. Gets a block, 20. This is Wesley Pryor to the 30. 40, 45, 50, Pryor returns that football all the way down to the 42-yard line of Washington State. Wesley Pryor, sophomore from DeSola, Texas. A second look. Let's see if we can pick up the blocks. That's B.B. Cooper, who made the key block in the corner. And here you see the speed of Wesley Pryor. Waters made the saving tackle, but Tennessee bounces back at its first down. This is fullback Howard crunching up the middle as the freshman from Lima, Ohio, plunges for five. Second and five for Tennessee, trailing 13 to seven in the second quarter. Four-man front, Robinson sees the chains in defensive alignment, checks off. Robinson, Jones gets a block, 35, Jones 30, Jones 25, Jones fights his way down to the 22-yard line. A second look, the blocking up front, 64, 74 it was. That's Moon making the key block. And Jones carries, and it will be for Tennessee first down at the 21. Moon and Mayo on the right side. Howard up the middle. Howard still running. Howard with the football, pounding his way forward. William Howard, Moon out in front. Two hundred fifteen pound freshman fullback William Howard, and Tennessee will have it. First down and goal to go at the nine yard line, trailing thirteen to seven. Up over the ball comes McKenzie. 
Mayo and Moon on the right side. Wait a minute, that's Hibbett. Johnny Hibbett is in there now at the pivot, and McKenzie has moved to a guard as Upton comes out. Cooper in there at fullback now. There's that five-man line again. Pitch, Johnny Jones. 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 Low down at the one-yard line. Jones working off the hip. I think that was Mayo. The ball's back to the full house backfield. Jones the tailback. Jones, hurdles, touchdown, big on. Johnny Jones comes catapulting over the right side of the line, right over Mayo, and Tennessee's pulled into a tie. Reves will kick toward the south end. The kick is good. Tennessee marches downfield to score, and right now it's Tennessee leading 14 to 13. Tennessee kicked off and we move along as Washington State is moving with the football and then this is Rippon who is thrown for a loss by Robbie Scott a second look at Meg County's Robbie Scott on top of Rippon the fine quarterback for Washington for Washington State second down 11 but let's take a third look 65 Robbie Scott sophomore Played nose guard last year, has moved to a tackle. But now you see Tennessee's defensive alignment shifting. Rippon at the 45. Pass. Incomplete. Almost intercepted by Carl Sander. The senior linebacker from Mendham, New Jersey. It's third down 11. Rippon. Good protection pass. On the money. Complete. That was Chase who pull down, pulls down the pass, a second look, right in the crease, banged immediately by Clark, Washington State, at the Tennessee 22-yard line, spinning to the right side, the pitch to Mays, McKenzie and Sims. Three-yard gain, second down seven at the 19. Tennessee by a point. Oh, what a stick. That's Darren Miller. From Flemington, New Jersey, red shirt freshman, the nose guard. A second look. A third look at Darren Miller in slow motion. And again, it's a loss. Tennessee leads 14 to 13. Rippon, plenty of time. The pass is complete. Diving catch. That's Burris. Beautiful, beautiful throw by Rippon. What an arm. It's a wobbly pass, but there you see the attempted deflection, but instead it's a completion. It's first down and goal to go for Washington State. The give to Calvin. Not much there, Miller. Dale Jones, 71, 44 tolls, 45 Xander, 54 Jones. A swarming host of orange-clad volunteers. Second down goal. Washington State trails by a point. Rippon on the option. Great reaction. Who was that? Tolls. Alvin Tolls, 44. Second look, and what an adjustment by Tolls. Playing and keying on the quarterback. It's third down and goal. Rippon. Running back split. Rippon. Wants the pitch, will keep. No, he did not make it. The Tennessee defense has held yet another time. 54 Jones, 14 Brown, 64 Douglas. A second look. Rippon wanted a pitch. There's Xander, 45. 31 Duncan. Beautifully played by Jones, who forced him to the inside. Took the pitch away. Here's the field goal try by Trout. It is up, and it is good. So the score is now 16 to 14. 
And it will be Washington State, which has led seven to nothing, then seven to seven, then 10 to seven, 13 to seven, trailing 14 to 13, now up 16 to 14. Fire. Breaks it to the 26 yard line. And Tennessee will have the ball first down. Horn Duff made the tackle. First and 10. Robinson, his team in the I formation. The throw is Robinson. The pass. It's complete. Making the grab and dancing out of bounds is Tim McGee. Short of a first down, it will be second down and five. A second look, Tim McGee. Wide receiver, split end from Cleveland, Ohio. Played at John Hay High School, where also a former volunteer, Anthony Hancock, played his high school football. Johnny Jones, as Tennessee's fighting the clock, running through the left side, trying to pick up the first down. Got only about a yard, so now Tennessee with really less than a minute to go in the first half trailing by two Robinson to throw in trouble spins free a trouble again still on his feet Robinson looking pass complete D.B. Cooper 35 40 47 yard line Cooper the clock will be stopped with the marking of the first down and Tennessee comes to the line with Tony Robinson Throwing the pass, it is incomplete out of bounds, intended for Eichholz, but really intended to stop the clock. Robinson, as we take a second look at that play just a moment ago, to B.B. Cooper, at 5-6, B.B. Cooper rambles after the reception of the first down. Tennessee now, as we're back to live action. Tony Robinson. Flips, incomplete over the head of Charles Wilson, the tailback, who's also in there now at tailback with Cooper. Robinson giving to Wilson. Wilson battles past the 50-yard line down to the 46. And Tennessee uses its last time out, and here comes Fouad Reves to attempt a 63-yard field goal. He holds the record at Tennessee, 60 yards, that one near the end of the first half down at Georgia Tech. Here's the kick. The direction is good, but it is short. The team's leaving the field, the whistle sounding. And let's see, this may be one of the great comebacks of all time. The team's leaving the field but of course the field goal was missed and once it is officially missed then the clock is stopped it really wasn't it ticked away but now they reset the halftime clock and it shows three seconds to go and Washington State leading 16 to 14 will have a chance to make it more Tennessee with a three-man rush the volunteers in a prevent defense Rippon steps up arches a long pass downfield it is Incomplete. Batted down by Sims as the first half comes to a close. Washington State leading Tennessee by a score of 16 to 14. And this is John Ward sending you the action from Leland Stadium. Opening night, 1984. Superlative halftime performance by the pride of the Southland band, as always. The kick taken six, seven yards deep in the end zone and down by Wesley Pryor. So Tennessee goes on offense in the third quarter, trailing by two. Robinson. That's complete. Howard. The fullback comes out of there to make the catch. Is shoved out of bounds by Harrington after a gain of eight yards. A second look. Good hands by Howard. And it will be second down and two. Back to the I formation. Williams, the left tackle for the Volunteers. and he checks off now Robinson facing a blitz loops the pass for McGee but it's overthrown and incomplete McGee going deep and Tennessee is faced with third down long seven to seven the volunteers at the 15 yard line Robinson here's the blitz dumps the pass it's pulled down by Swanson at the 10 struggles down to about the seven yard line but he needed to get to the three. Eric Swanson making a second catch and an excellent effort after making the grab. 
but he stumbled down. Let's take a second look. Robinson looked for McGee first, now throws the ball to Swanson. And here you see him getting it at the 10. Runs through that arm tackle, struggling, trying to work the ball for the first down. On the play, Tennessee was guilty of holding anyway, but Florida elects to decline the penalty. It will be fourth down, and Reves will be in to attempt the field goal. It is good. So Tennessee, which led seven to nothing, then was tied seven to seven in its second possession, moves downfield. 71 yards, 14 plays, and the balls lead with four minutes and one second to go in the first quarter by a score of 10 to 7. Ravage will be kicking off. Here's the kick. It's high, end over end, and long, and it is taken and will be down by roll of Florida. And so the Gators will have it, trailing 10 to 7 at the 20 yard line, first down 10. The tailback gets the feed to the outside with the ball. He's got it at the 35 to the 40. Great free. Racing down the far sideline. This has got to be Anderson. 80 yards for a Florida touchdown. The Florida Gators, a big play team all year. And here you see Anderson getting a block there from Big Brown. Now he gets to the corner and turns on the speed. Clark chasing, couldn't get him. Benton also had a slight angle, but then it's just the sheer speed of Anderson, 80 yards, a diving attempt by Creamer at the last, not nearly enough. And Florida goes on top of Tennessee in an 80-yard burst, 13 seconds after Tennessee got the field goal. Now Florida will be attempting the extra point. It's up, it is blocked. There's time up on the field with a score, Florida 13, Tennessee 10. After the touchdown by Florida, the Gators kick off and Tennessee's move for the football. Big offensive show on both sides and Tennessee now will have it second down, about 12 yards to go, deep in Florida territory, mark it at the 24-yard line. Robinson, handoff Jones, and he gets only a yard. Well played on the outside. Defensively, that's Alonzo Johnson. Very strong defensive player. There you see Jones. And Johnson was able to slide along the line. Tennessee had a little opening there that Jones might have gone for more yardage. As it is, it's third down. Play action. Robinson pass is incomplete. It was caught. But the official rules that McGee did not have possession with his feet in bounds. He had his feet in bounds as the ball got there, but he did not have possession. And so here is Reves to attempt a field goal of 40 yards. Could tie the game. You'll see it from the end zone, end over end, and it is good! Tennessee, 57 yards, 11 plays. And the score is now 13 to 13. The Volunteers and the Gators. Tennessee defensively making some adjustments in its front line with McKenzie, Brown, Xander, Miller, Malazzi, Fisher, Duncan, and Jones. Here's the end over end kick coming downfield, and it is downed by Natio in the end zone. Beautiful shot. And you saw the blue sky we were talking about a little while ago. It's a gorgeous day in Knoxville. The ball's in a four-man line defensively. Florida in a tie game again. Slashing forward comes Hampton. And Hampton gets right at five yards from the 20 to the 25-yard line. A second look. We'll see the quick feet and balance. Florida has outstanding talent at running backs, three of them at least. Williams, Anderson, you saw him go for 80 yards, and now Hampton's in there. Breaking to the outside, this is Williams. It's Williams, shoved out of bounds. Well, you saw the difference in the set. They brought the tailback, in essence, to be a wingback. And Williams moved outside of him, 
got his block. You'll see it right here. See there, he's boxed on the tackle. And then to the outside, eluding Jones. And it's Charles Davis who had a hand on him and finally forced out of bounds by Xander. First down for the Gators. 18-yard run by Williams. Hampton. Breaks a tackle, cuts back, moves past midfield. And powers forward for a gain of nine yards on the play. Second down, a yard to go. 13 to 13, the score. Kerwin Bell at quarterback. Hampton. Still running. This time a 15-yard pickup, and it's a first down. A second look at the run by Hampton. Lorenzo Hampton. 42, Joe Cooper. One of the players there at Florida, which saw Tennessee tie a moment ago on the 40-yard field goal, is coming right back. They've got it in a 13-13 game deep in Tennessee territory. Bell handoff, well played. Dale Jones. They came with that same wing back.